How's it going, everybody? Let's play some Planet Zoo. So, Honey is sitting here. She's pregnant, so she's just relaxing. Sergeant Grumbles is coming up from over here. Oh, he's just giving that. Ooh, look at that. He kicked it at Honey. Whoa, that's not nice, dude. We don't need that kind of stuff. Um, going on in this habitat. Ooh, Africa theme. Getting close to completed. Dangerous animal has escaped. Let's pause the game and check this out. Um, uh-oh. Tiger is out. That is scary. But she didn't really escape. Because she's right here. Sometimes the game freaks out. Um, and thinks that animals have escaped when they haven't. Um, but I digress. Okay. People are scared, though. They're running in terror. They dropped all their balloons, um, and they're, like, running for the hills. So, unfortunately, everyone's reacting as though she has escaped, and look at her beautiful face. She's right here. She's like, I didn't escape. I wouldn't leave my babies. Not all of my beautiful albino Sib Siberian tigers. Important alert requires attention. I know. She really hasn't, though. Um... So anyway, we'll deal with that in a moment. I don't know if you call these albino. They're just white because they, they do have like black stripes. Maybe you do anyway, though. Yes, look at look at the dad. Look at Sir Stripes. He's just like, yeah, I'm just chilling with my baby. My baby right here. Now, because of all of this, I have thought about this. I have these amazing Siberian tigers, and then they had three babies. The problem with them is that they don't like their... They don't have enough space in their habitat. Um, and they don't have enough hard shelter. I can put in another hard shelter. But I worry that it's going to mess with my space. So what I thought to myself is, why not make a bigger tiger habitat leave this habitat here get some other animals for that but just make ourselves a bigger tiger habitat like right next door right here so I'm, i think i'm gonna set to doing that i sometimes don't like putting things right across from each other because you have audio speaker Interference issues and things like that, but we can turn those down. I could put it over here, um, but I've got to dodge this, like, staff area. Anyway, I think right here is good. So let me turn on the heat map. Oh, you know what I need to do before I do that? I need to say quickly say hi to everybody and just drink up these conservation points. We almost have a thousand, so we can start, like, considering some seriously good animals. I'd love to get elephants and rhinos and stuff like that, but we gotta walk, crawl before we can walk. That's how it goes. All right, so let's look at the heat map. Oops. And then let's look at negative impact and see where we can build a path. So we can start building a path, like, right here. So let me build a path that is nice and wide. I like to build it, you know, 26 is pretty good, but I am at, let's go max. Let's just give everybody all the time and space they need. All right, and then I'm gonna make it as long as I can using the plus key. And I'm just gonna bend this like this. Yeah, that looks good. We're plenty far away from the negative impact and I can put some facilities over there if I need to. And then I'm just going to hard curl this around. Hard curl and connect it. Um, let's bring it in. Uh, I don't want to make a deadly crossroads. Let's do it like that. All right. And then so what we've done now is just made an enormous habitat space for tigers. It's too big, you know, in some ways. But I'd, I'd rather have more space than not enough. So let's go to um, barriers. And let's do our brick barrier. Now we need to make these tall because we've got tigers. Um, and so I'm going to kind of 
Oops. Um, I'm going to build one. And then I'm going to go off of this and just pull it up. There we go. And then um, let me build some more. Here we go. And now they'll all be the, the right height. So let's just make sure that no tigers are climbing out. Because, oh, those tigers like to do that. I'm going to keep a little bit of nice space so that we can put the cash bins between the path and the habitat. I'm going to also just increase the length of some of these segments. So that there's not as many little plinths between them. By the way, the peafowl are about to have offspring. They are making a million babies. I was looking at some videos online by, I don't know if it was Palsley or Plastic Swans, but you know they were talking about if you're trying to get conservation points, one of the ways to do that is to just get a bunch of animals that have babies all the time so that you can start releasing them to the wild and earning conservation points. And I think that's a pretty good strategy. So. Um, I'm going to try to do that, but I'm not going to just pursue it and make some kind of, like, conservation point farm. I'll just let them come naturally. Okay. So the nice thing about tigers is that we already have them, so I can go over and look at them. Look at this crocs. Let's see. Is anybody down here, by the way, with my crocs? Oh, yes. People are, people are checking it out. They feel good. They can see the crocs swimming if the crocs feel like swimming. Ooh, this croc has found this little land path. What's this guy all about? What is his deal? He likes the zoo. He says it's great. And he's getting a front row seat. This is kind of, I mean, you know, that's a pretty intense gaze. But anyway, um, let's go back to the tigers and let us... examine them so that we know what they like and don't like or, 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 why am i missing my tigers i'm i've lost my tigers here they are all right escaped animal she's right there why do you think she escaped she's in there all right yeah so you can see that they're welfare is bad because there's just not enough space so i'm going to try to improve this now terrain um they don't really like long grass at all and actually there's too much in that shelter so i'm going to need to just eliminate all long grass so let's go to the paint tool and let's just put in short grass everywhere Can I make this bigger? Just make this enormous. Make this brush the size of the globe. We're going to get all of this long grass out. They do like some, but, you know, okay. Then, now that we've got this amazing looking habitat here, let's go to facility, no, nope, habitat, barriers. Let's put in our gate. I'm going to put it right over here, make it easy on the employees. I can connect this staff path right here. I might, I'm going to do that now just to, so I don't forget. It's a sweet idea. Um, it does not need to be this wide. Here we go. And so we can just be like, hey, staff, you can get to your job. All right. Now we've got this little secluded staff area that is safe in terms of negative impact but we can expand this if we need to as the zoo gets bigger all right there we go and so this habitat is going to be called um tiger town i already have a tiger town oh by the way yeah i need to rename this croc cove um i thought of that and it's better because it's not really much of a creek. But I just like the sound of Croc Cove. You get that kind of um, repeated vowel sound, that assonance that makes it sound even 
more attractive as a place you'd want to go. All right, and then now that we've got that, I'm going to start moving my tigers over and then just kind of see what we can do to help them habitat wise after we move them all right i'm the worst at finding these tigers here they are all right so let's go ahead and move you to tiger town and actually i'm gonna just i wonder if i can just click on this tiger town and just say animals and select all of them and then just collectively move them here okay great and let's just do that people are going to be confused for a moment but you know sometimes you got to confuse i'm going to speed it up get this moving process going there's a box there's boxes oh okay and then i'm just going to pause it we got a gift we got a thousand dollars to add to our 739,000. All right, so now we can quickly examine what you like and don't like about this. Um, so, Sir Stripes, what's the problem here? Too much short grass, not enough of the other stuff. So, that's funny. Um, <laughs> I'll give you some long grass then, fine. You can have a little bit. How about like right here? Now that's too much but you could use some soil and some rock. Mm-hmm. And then some soil. There we go. Now everything is in a pretty reasonable level. Okay. I like that. Uh-huh. Okay, great. Now, what else do we need to do here? Now, this is fine. Your plants and your coverage are bad. So what I might do is just say, you know what? We had some good plants here. Let's just move this thing. <laughs> and see, it was actually pretty easy to get the right plants and coverage. Okay. What do you feel about this, buddy? Um, we're almost there. Mm-hmm. We can tweak the positioning of these later if we need to. But I think this looks pretty good so far. All right, now how do you feel about things, buddy? Good. The coverage isn't perfect, but it's in the green. So we can add some more plants later if we want when we do our finishing touches. What is your deal? Have a hat. Oh, no keepers assigned to it. Yeah. And we do need that. So what we need to do is go to zoo, staff, work zones. Okay, so... Um, boxed outside of habitat for too long. Oh, no. Um, all right, so all kinds of problems because I forgot to assign this to a work zone. So let me just go to staff and then work zone and then northwest work zone and let's include this habitat. And then we should be good. So let me see if people can figure things out better. Oh, yeah. She's just sitting here. I don't understand. Why can't you move them? Move them in here, right? And then you? Can we just move them here? All right. Good. Good. Um, all right. Good. We got some mating with the peafowls. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Zoo challenges. Um, okay, so let's go back. Oh boy. 
to this new tiger exhibit and continue beautifying it for Sir Stripes. So the terrain is okay except for the hard shelter. I think the temperature is going to get out of whack in a second. I do believe I had coolers in my little tiger cage. Let me look. Yeah, here's a cooler. So let me just move this. And we'll just make sure that like all aspects of this, uh, I'm going to duplicate this and just kind of sprinkle these all around this habitat to keep the tigers nice and cool wherever they might be. Okay, good. And then let's go to Habitat and look at what shelters we can build. <coughs> Goodness, excuse me. All right. So because we've unlocked a bunch of new mechanics research, we can build quite a, v a few new styles of Habitat. Man, this thing looks unreal. I mean, I'm sorry, hard shelter. Look at this. It's got like windows and an expensive roof. This looks sweet. All right. So we need to put this in a place where we're not planning on having a viewing angle. All right. I think that orientation looks good. And then let me just scooch this back so that we're almost all the way to the wall here good all right this tree obviously needs to get moved but we can we can even scooch it back a little further and then maybe move it like that and then i think that's perfect and then i'm going to get this tree out of the depths there kind of put it over there all right so now sir stripes let me unpause it and see how you feel about the hard shelter completely satisfied now it's just about enrichment so let's go to habitat and filters species and let's go down to siberian tiger and let me go for enrichment items they need he needs what toy and food all right so let's just do food first this pinata thing is unreal i love it and it already gives them a hundred percent but i'm gonna give them two and then toys rubbing pad and you want things like the rubbing pad, or at least I want them, up closer to the window area so that they have a, you know, the animals will go by the zoo people. The guests, I should call them, not the zoo people. All right, and then now um, he is 100% happy with this. Okay, so now once we have him totally happy, we can do stage two of the habitat process which is to edit the barrier oh before i do that let me just make sure that um i change the mechanic to every month the vet to every month and the keeper to every month i just like to have everyone checked out as much as possible and then let me edit the barrier and start putting in glass I don't know if the tigers care about whether or not it's, you know, one-way or two-way glass. But I'm just going to give them... I'm going to put in regular glass for now. Um, I'll put in one more. And then curl this around. And then start doing glass... Um, over here as well. This can be glass. And then this will be glass. And then that's enough. Alright, there's a lot of viewing now for the tigers. Alright, let me unpause it. Okay. Now, that has registered. They are finally moving the other animals in here. Now what it's time to do is go to guest facilities and put in donation boxes. I'm going to have to move these benches that I put for chilling. Um, kind of just put donation boxes. Oops, not there. There, please. In all of the places that uh, we can get 
cache. They have to be able to reach it, of course. All right, that looks pretty good. I, I am going to actually edit the barrier really fast. I want to take out this um, plinth and then just kind of make this a longer stretch. I'm going to take this out, and then here we go. I don't like having all those little pillars. I'm going to just increase this length. Oh, I can't quite make it, can I? That's fine. I'm going to put it there. And then we can connect it like that. And it looks a little wonky, but I don't really care. And I'm just going to switch this to be glass. There we go. Now we've got a nice big viewing area. Let me, well, this bench, uh, he, 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 needs to obviously be moved. Over here. People can just really have a grand time. The trash can is fine. It's just the benches that need to go. You can sit here and watch the tigers. All right. There we go. All right, now it's time for everyone's favorite, which would be the educational stuff. Um, so let's put as much of this down as we dare. All right, I'm going to try a trick for expediting right now. I'm going to switch this immediately to Siberian Tiger. Switch this one to Siberian Tiger. And then Siberian Tiger. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this screen that's set to Siberian Tiger and put it here. Okay, now what you have to do is then select this one and duplicate it. If you do just keep duplicating, it will somehow lose the, the channel. Um, I don't know how, but that seems to be the way of it. Duplicate this and put it there. All right, I do need to actually edit the barrier. I'm just going to take that out. There we go. And now the screen is front and center. Everyone sees Tiger wherever they go. Oh, is there no power over here? H. Power. Yeah, I've got power problems. Okay. Well, it's time to take this, duplicate this, and put this like... Hmm. Probably here is okay and then I'm going to just build a path and use the staff path and kind of connect that like that and I think this is not bothering anybody correct yeah all right what's going on here boxed animal too long still all right um no this person is carrying this one they're being carried all right so that's good so we don't have to worry about that Vet research complete. Terrific. Ooh, we mastered the boa constrictor. That's great. That means we can get on to um, Indian peafowl. Or, oh, Jesus. We have... Oh, my God. That's embarrassing. I need to get some more vets. Yeah. Um, can you start researching the saltwater crocodile, please? I'm gonna hire another vet right away. I've got animals that just aren't being researched. So let me go to staff. And let me just hire another two veterinarians. I just wanna get knowledgeable about my animals. And then let's go to work zones. And these unassigned staff, oh, these are all vendors. Um, you can go to the uh, Northwest you can go to the east. You can go to the northwest. These are all at the um, crock place, so. There we go. All right, I might have to like build more vet places soon, but now I can go over here to zoo and go to vet research. And like, I can put Lily Scott on. Um, brown snake and then I can put uh, Jimmy Bloom on the peafowl puff adder needs some love we'll get there all right so now our new habitat has 
facility broken down. Let me guess, it's a vending machine. All right, and I'm gonna set its maintenance schedule to routine visits every month. Yeah, I wonder if you can change the defaults to when people check these um, <laughs> vending machines. All right, now I need to build the speakers. So I'm just gonna actually copy this speaker and put it right here, but we need to change the music. Um, to Siberian Tiger. I thought I did. I thought I placed two of them accidentally. Siberian Tiger. All right, good. There's only one now. And I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. We don't want to turn it up too much because we don't want somebody to get cross-contamination. Um, I know that's a very strange word uh, for this purpose, but the idea is that if people are looking at the grizzlies and they hear stuff about the cats, they'll get upset. So I kind of have to be wary of that. Good. And then let me duplicate this and put it like right there. And then I'm going to turn it up. And I'm going to duplicate it. We can actually throw these all over the place now. I don't know why you would need it there. Ooh, that one doesn't have power, does it? Or maybe it does. All right, and then let me just check. We need to turn it on to Tiger. Turn it up, perfect. Let me just duplicate this and throw it like... right there. And I think that's pretty good. I think this one is not um, turned on to Tiger. So let me do that. All right, good. Are you Tiger? You are Tiger. Basically excellent. I do need to put this in a work zone. So let me go to Zoo, Staff, Work Zones, Northwest Work Zone. And we need to throw this power device in there. And while I'm here, let's change its... Man, it's already damaged. Let's change its maintenance to every month. I'm actually going to call a mechanic right now. It's it's worn down. It needs a repair. Okay. Oh, and it's conservation friendly. I think that you get conservation points. Perhaps for stuff that's conservation friendly. Maybe not. But I think people like that. Or... Anyway, let's unpause it. Let's get these boxed animals in there. I think we have the full tiger family now. There's mommy, daddy, and there's all the kids. All right, so now that we've got the full family, um, I already requested the mechanics, so you can um, dismiss... Oh, multiple educational what? Here, no, I don't need to see that. Um... Oh, oh, these are all now busted because there's no tigers in there. Right, right, right. Okay, so it's not so easy just to move everything out of a habitat. You've got to... Uh, I wish I could, like, collectively select all of the educational... Um, like, control click or shift click or something. Or if I... No. Um, anyway, whatever. I need to just turn all these off. Kind of a pain to manage all this stuff. I, if you know of a better way of how to micromanage all of, or I guess I should say I want to macromanage, I want to do all of the educational stuff on the habitat, that would be great. It doesn't take a super amount of time, it's just yawn, but we can get there. All right. None. All right, let me unpause it. Now, I know there's still some, right? Five, is that right? Yeah, we need to just turn this off and um, 
turn this off. Well, maybe it's easier just to select them like this through this screen. All right, this is fine. Okay. Um, ooh, you're about to inbreed. Don't do that. All right. So wait, which um, <laughs> take it off of the view. I don't want to see that. What are you? You are a female. Um, and you are strutters. Is this inbreeding? Can I see your like family tree? Stud book, born, adulthood. Yeah, parents are, no, it says they're unknown. Oh, she's Strutter's mom. Oh my God. All right, Strutter's, um, you've got to go. I love you. But we can't have you trying to breed with your mother. Um, that's that's some Oedipal stuff. That's for a different Let's Play, not this one. All right. Okay, so um, evening approaches, and the tigers love their new habitat. So we are in a great place that we've now moved them and they have plenty of space. We'll need to now, uh, oh boy, Sir Stripes is doing his usual tree dance and he's up here. We will need to continue beautifying this, put nature all around and inside to make this a more fun and exciting habitat, probably put in some vending machines, but we'll do that in the next episode. Everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Planet Zoo Franchise Mode. We have moved some tigers handled some zoo problems look at this i mean this is like a community center awesome all right everybody if you enjoyed this and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel could you please do so i'd really appreciate it i hope you guys have an excellent evening or day and i will check you all in the next one when we continue to make this habitat fit for the queen madam orangius all right everybody take care